Hi, I'm Zane, and today we're going to be making sugar skulls. Here we have two cups of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of meringue powder, and two tablespoons of water. First, I'm going to put the sugar in the bowl, and then I'm going to add the meringue powder and mix it with my hands. I'm going to add half of the water and mix that because you want the sugar to be moldable but not wet. And I'm gonna add the rest of the water and mix it until it's all evenly distributed among the sugar and the meringue powder. So if it, you can mold it and if it stays and it doesn't crumble, then it's good. So we're gonna be making two different sizes of sugar skulls, starting with the larger one. You want to pack the sugar into the plastic mold, but make sure it's not loose by pressing down. And then you put it face down on a baking sheet. You just lift the mold off of the sugar. It should be in a little skull shape. Repeat the same steps with the back of the skull. Uh, same steps for the little molds. Now put the tray with the sugar skulls into an oven on the lowest setting for about half an hour. Sugar skulls represent the actual human skulls that the Aztec used when they were celebrating Day of the Dead. When the Spaniards colonized the Americas, they brought over a lot of sugar because it was easy and cheap to grow. The indigenous people didn't have a lot of money, but they had a lot of sugar. So they baked it and molded it into skulls and decorated them with frosting and beads. They also made sugar crosses, sugar animals, sugar skeletons, and sugar coffins. After a half hour, they're ready to be pulled out and set to cool. Now that the sugar skulls have cooled and they are hard, we're gonna start decorating them. So. First, we're gonna start by putting these together so that the skull is whole. So the way that you do that is you take some of your frosting and you basically just use it like glue on the back. As for decorating, you can basically do any kinds of designs that you want. So I'm gonna put some dots around the eye. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a Mesoamerican holiday that honors deceased loved ones. It has been celebrated for over 3,000 years, originating in Aztec civilization and spreading through South, Central, and North America. The Aztecs believe life and death to be two sides of the same coin. You couldn't have one without the other. Both should be commemorated and spirits should be honored and remembered so they will protect you throughout the year. The Aztecs would celebrate this on the ninth month of their calendar, which was approximately the beginning of August. These festivities would be celebrated the whole month, centered around the Lady of the Dead. When the Spanish colonized the Americas, they saw this tradition as barbaric and making a mockery of death. Spanish Catholics believed death should be feared, not celebrated. The Spanish tried to eradicate the indigenous celebration, but like the old Aztec spirits, the ritual refused to die. So, the Spanish moved it to coincide with All Saints Day and All Souls Day, which is November 1st and 2nd. Today, it is celebrated a little bit differently depending on where you are. Families visit the graves of their loved ones and clean them, as well as put marigolds and candles around them. They have picnics and celebrations on the grave and believe the spirits are also celebrating. Families also make altars for their deceased loved ones. These altars are called ofrendas. They are decorated with candles, marigolds, photos of the dead, delicious Mexican foods, toys for young spirits, and bottles of tequila for adult spirits. But the best part is the sugar skulls. 